Hello everyone and welcome back to iSpace Sonic. In this brand new tutorial series, I'm going to discuss the SQLite database in Android Studio. Okay, in this tutorial series, I'm going to perform insert, update, delete, and any other keyword related to SQLite database. So, okay, so let me move back into Android Studio. Okay. So uh, the very first step is to create the a database inside Android application inside any Android application. If you are using the SQLite, then you have to use the SQLite Open Helper class to create the database. But before that, uh, creating that class, I'm going to get into XML file so that I can create some kind of button by clicking on on that button. Um, our new database will be created. So right now, let's put me. Let me put a text view over here. Put the mat pane on content, right? Wrap content, and text would be SQLite application. Next thing, I'm going to give the ID. This is some kind of header TV. And at the same time, let me set other attributes. So text size would be 25 SP. And text style I'm going to have bold okay next thing I'm going to have is to include a button by clicking on that button we will create our SQL database so I'm going to have match parent with with the height of wrap content and the text text would be create database and ID I'm going to have create database btn and this would be below of header TV and on the both side of this text uh, button I'm going to have the margin that's it we are done with our create database button next thing let me get back into main activity uh, to create the database uh, SQLite database inside the Android application you have to use the SQLite open helper class okay so first of all let me create a sample class before that i'm going to create a separate package for our database class this is just a folder uh, if you want to create uh, the database class inside the main package you can create that uh, in the main package as well but uh, just to simplify the things i'm going to create that class inside a separate package okay so i'm going to say this is a uh, database classic Next thing I'm going to do is to create a Java class in which I'm going to extend the SQLite Open Helper class. So let me say that this is my database class. Okay. And I'm going to extend SQLite Open Helper class and then hit the OK button. In order to use the SQLite Open Helper class, you have to you have to implement the text methods of SQLite Open Helper class, which are two methods. One is on create, and other one is on upgrade. So let me implement those methods. Okay, that's it. Uh, point your mouse over over this red line, and then press Alt plus Enter, and the those on create method and on upgrade method will automatically implement inside your class. The next thing that I'm going to do is to override the constructor of this SQLite open helper class so that we can create the database. Okay, and again press Alt plus Enter and create that constructor. I'm going to change uh, parameters of this constructor here. I'm just going to have context over here, not content values, but context, context, context. Okay. Now, in order to uh, create the database, you have to provide uh, three different things first one is context then name I'm going to use the null over here I will describe why I have used null over here in the later video so the next thing I'm going to use is the version number so first of all let me have that database name because our data name and database name will not change uh, throughout the application so I'm going to have it uh, private static final string and I'm going to say it I'm going to uh, name it uni student information the next thing you have to provide is a version for the database so i'm going to use private static final frame database version sorry version is int so i'm going to change this to integer 
from the start database version will be one now i'm going to change these variable names with the variable names i have just created so first one is database name i'm going to change this with database name uh, i'm not going to use the factory uh, clause over here so i'm going to use null over here and the next thing is database version okay so we have override our super class constructor our sqlite open helper class constructor next thing we have uh, to create a query for creating our database table the first thing we do after creating the database is to have a table so for uh, creating a table i'm going to create a query private string query to create database this would be create table then table name i'm going to say uni student with the values i'm going to say id and this would be an integer integer with and i'm going to say this would be primary key with auto increment property next thing i'm going to have name and this would be varchar 255 you can use text not null as well and then i'm going to use uh, email let's say an email varchar 255 then i'm going to have phone number then that eventually will be of type integer that's it we're done with our query and this query would run when the database will be created and when the database we create we create database uh, first time for the first time by using the sqlite open helper class then our own create method runs uh, inside this class okay so i'm going to create the database table just when the database will be created so i would write this i will execute this query inside this on create method okay so i'm um, first i'm going to surround it with try catch block section e and first error while creating table okay now this toast is asking us for to enter uh, context so i'm going to get this concept from here context class i'm going to create a variable of context class context class next would be this dot context and i'm going to initialize it with the local variable which i have just created over here object of this sqlite database class is used to execute the different sql queries so i'm going to use object of this class which is db dot execute sql and here i'm going to pass the create query to create database which will create the database and if this query uh, runs without any exception then we are going to display our toes table is created successfully okay that's it next thing is i'm going to uh, getting back into our main activity before that uh, let me have check if there is an error it is showing over here that there is an error i don't oh we have to pass it the context over here okay so in the main activity i'm going to create a method public wide create data base and to make it clickable i'm going to pass the view object let me in uh, import this class by pressing all press enter now try and using cache exception exception and toast that exception exception while creating data base okay and here at the same time we will get the error message as that so this would be e dot get message okay first of all i'm going to create the object of our class which is my database class obj my database class and here in the main on create method i'm going to initialize this obj my database class would equal to new my database class and uh, to match the constructor i have to pass the const, uh, context which is in this case is this keyword so now to create the database you just have to call this method which is get readable database this will automatically create your database okay so next step is i'm going to call this method on the on click attribute of this uh, create button so on click create database that's it so i'm going to run this application here it is 
So our application is up and running. So let me click on this database button, create database. Oh, that's it. Our database has successfully been created. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. See you.